Oh, man. Whoa. End of the bat, kind of. Oh, that worked. All right. What up, what up? We're here with the Baseball Bat Bros. Today, I'm here with my boy Tyler and my boy Biscuit. We got a 12-year-old and a 10-year-old to hit some U-Trip bats today. Our first bat, the new CF mashup from DeMarini. These are both drop eights. And then we have a very broken in meta. These things take a long time to break in, but this one is, is fire, bro. You've been using this, you and a few of your teammates for six months. It's webbing up, it's cracking. So we're gonna see what is better, a fully broken in meta or a new outer wrapper CF. Let's get it. All right, folks, here are our bats for the day. So first we have the beat up meta. You can see it is, it's fracturing folks. This thing has thousands of hacks on it. We got another little crease right there. And then we have a nice little vertical seam right on the meta right there. So this thing is humming right now. Uh, very, very hot, fully broken in. And then we have the newest limited edition DeMarini CF. This is called the Mashup, just released. Really good looking bat here. And from my experience, these things are really hot out of the wrapper. Previously, uh, we did a drop eight showdown between the Zoa and the Meta. They were both uh, new in wrapper, and the Zoa was just way hotter out of the wrapper. So a little different comparison today. Uh, the meta at full potential versus a relatively new CF. Let's find out which is hotter, folks. Let's get it. So a pretty special venue today, folks. We are at the Secret Location, Oregon, Field in the Forest. Uh, it's about, like... 250 to 300. Uh, the left field fence is like 310. It's actually a pretty big field. We have the cones set up at 200, and then we have some bats behind the fence about 20 feet back. So we have a mark set up at 200 feet, 220 feet, because we only have a 10U and a 12U guy, right? So beautiful turf field. This place is sick. Let's go. All right, fellas. First, we got Biscuit Burns, uh, son of former Oakland A, Eric Burns. So this has been your gamer. Yes. Have you liked it? Yeah, there's a tiny crack forming, but I love it. Who's your team? Is that it? Let them play? Yeah, I'll let them play. I play 11U, yep. I play, yeah. Uh, most of them are from Sacramento, but me and my dad are from Lake Tahoe, California. All right, awesome, man. Okay, let's yep. get it. Nice. Dude, was that off the hands? Yeah. That was a, that was a jam shot for 200. All right, you're about to hit nukes. All right, then we got Tyler Parrish here, uh, Mound Time 12U Travel Ball. So uh, you swing a Cat9 composite, right? Yeah. So uh, this will actually be helpful for you to tell us if you like the CF drop bait or the meta drop bait more than your Cat9 comp. Look how beat up that thing is, dude. Awesome. Yeah, see ya. Oh. Nice. Laser, oh, boy. Oh! Get out, baby. Yes, sir. Over 200? 218. 218. Let's go. Oh, good swing. Good swing. Perfect, perfect. Oh, see ya. Perfect. Yes, sir. Nuke. See ya. See ya. That's 220. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh. Ah. That was killed. All right. World premiere of the CF mashup. <laughs> oh, oh, first hat. New city. I got a jam on that. You got jam? Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. That, that sounds, sounds so, so good. good. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. Oh, get oh, yeah, down, baby. Oh, my God. Okay, this is the one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. See ya. Fair. Dude, what? 230? You can feel. Flex on this a lot more. Oh, See ya. yeah. That was off the. That was no. jam too? Yeah.
See ya. Is that a boy, Bertie? <laughs> 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 Dude, that was fun. Put a hole in the fence right there. All right, fellas, last round. We're gonna get one good barrel with each one, and you guys got to give your final votes. All right? Yeah. Woo! 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 I like this one. Yeah. <laughs> I can tell. If you can afford the swing weight, that one sounds yeah. a little hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See ya. See ya, dude. Oh, Two thirty. This is Nuke City, baby. All right, guys. It is voting time. Do you have a clear decision? Yes. Do both of you guys. Are, are, are you torn, Biscuit? I, I think I have my decision. All right, let's go. All right, Tyler, we'll start with you, man. Bottom of the ninth. Actually, you guys probably play six innings, right? Yeah. Bottom of the sixth. <laughs> two outs. Base is loaded, 3-2 count. The CF or the broken in meta, pick up your bat, bro. I'm going with the CF. You're going with the CF, man. What'd you like about it more? Just like the oh, pop and the sweet spot or what? The pop was better than the meta. This was heavier, which I preferred. Just had a bigger sweet spot, I think. Yeah, it sounded better for sure, man. Yeah. So are you pretty comfortable swinging a drop eight? Yeah, I feel like I can swing pretty much any drop eight. So you're used to it. So that kind of makes sense. You went with the more end loaded, bigger barreled bat and you crushed with it bro that's awesome so your gamer's a cat nine composite yeah that's a pretty similar swing weight to that so it makes sense all right man biscuit the people want to know dude i feel like the cf has more pop and it's step and it definitely gets on the barrel more okay but i like the um meta for more contact but i'm going with the cf you're going with the cf so it, it was very obvious that it took you some getting used to it did and like at first I could see like your barrel was lagging. There was a more swing weight. You had to kind of compensate by throwing the barrel out front more. You were rolling over a little bit because of that. Mm -hmm. But once you got used to it, bro, you were catching barrels with that thing. Got a, the name of the ball right there. <laughs> you, you took off the paint of the yeah. ball right there. So moving forward, man, you're, you're gonna go ahead and put the put the meta up on the wall, and you're you're gonna have the CFB or gamer. Yeah, I think so. All right, bro. Good choice, man. Those are both good bats. All right, folks, and I can't help but be a part of this decision. I have no place swinging a 3022. If I break one of these bats, I will buy them multiple new ones. Oh, man. <laughs> End of the bat, kind of. Oh, that worked. All right. Uh, fished it out. Now one with the CF. Oh, my goodness, dude. I don't know if I can take any one more swing. I'm not going to take any more than that. Yeah, that's, that one's hotter, man. All right. Another thing to consider, though. You will definitely use your one-year warranty with this bat. I can just tell with those couple swings this is gonna break. This is breaking, but you've, you've got six, seven months out of it with a couple guys in your team using it. Yeah. So you've been banging with that thing. I guarantee you this would have broken a lot sooner. The meta is very durable. So uh, you might go through a few more of these. You might have to uh, empty the old wallet a little bit more because these are fragile. Same with the ZOA, uh, pretty dang fragile. This dude, this feels absolutely fire. This will last you a long time, even though out of the wrapper, it's going to feel uh, pretty stiff. You're in the middle of the season right now, so mm -hmm. keep using that till it blows up. Yeah. Then you'll get a little bit stronger, mm -hmm. you know, keep eating, you'll get a little bit bigger. Once yeah. that finally blows all the way up, mm -hmm. then switch to this. Yeah. All right, folks. So honestly, still a very, very similar situation to our ZOA versus Meta video. The CF is just hotter but it's more fragile. Same with the ZOA. It's hotter, but it's more fragile. Uh, and it's just a little bit more end loaded. The Meta and a bat like uh, the Cat9 Composite, even the ADV Hype are pretty durable. But if you want something that is screaming hot from swing one and you don't have to break in it at all, the CF and the ZOA are hard to beat, man. So a couple awesome bats today, folks. You're going to like either one, but uh, they definitely do both play slightly different roles. So if you guys like the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and you can always check out our USSA and BB Core rankings along with our merch over at baseballbatbros.com. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.